guys, it's Bianca. Welcome back to another video on my channel in my little corner of the internet. Today I have a special guest with me, my husband Sam, and we are doing a sort of Instagram made me buy it video. So I don't know about you, but when I Google something and then like do research for something and then go to my Facebook, I start seeing ads for mm -hmm. the same thing that I yeah. searched. And he he's in IT, so he knows what it, what is it called when that happens. It's like like data mining. You know, they, it sort of takes different sort of preferences and settings and across different browsers, and it's yeah, they target you all over the place. So that's pretty much what it's called, data mining. That's what I call it. Because so I've been getting the same advertising on my Instagram feed, and then I'll go to Facebook and. It, It'll either be like up in the top right mm -hmm. corner yeah. of the page or through my newsfeed as well. They'll be like, it's the same company, but for another product that they use. And so it sucked me in. I ended up buying it because it's all about tattoo care. And as you guys know, I had a tattoo tour video recently where I went over all of my ink and my husband mm -hmm. is completely... Yeah. Covered in oh, tattoos. Okay. Yeah, just, <laughs> yep, there you go. Mad Rabbit Tattoo Company. And this is the box. And this is their Frankincense and Lavender Enhancing Balm. And I watched the person on the advertisement use it, and I'm like, no, like, that's, <laughs> that's not, no. And then I did more research because before I spend any money on an advertisement on Instagram, I want to make sure it's legit because. Yeah. You you just can't trust a lot of people. So is it better? Yeah. This is the box that it came in. I've already shown you that. But I love the packaging. So it's kind of like has a flash tattoo um on either side, which I think is super cute. And I was super excited. You can kind of see there's a rip. I've already opened it because it took a while to get here but yeah i don't think that's normal either i think just like our postman trying yeah. to stay there so yeah like... no this is the tin it's a pretty good size tin i paid 15.99 for it and i think that you know everybody has their own kind of regimen of how they care for their tattoos um i know i do my mm -hmm. husband does and you know to each their own this isn't like we're not going to try and push this prop we're not going to try and push this product on any of you guys. I, You'll see there's a couple indents because I've already wanted to check out the consistency of it. So those are my little little tiny fingers digging into it. Um, it has the consistency of coconut oil. like mm -hmm. Or like a pomade or something like yeah. that. Yeah, it's kind of, it's sort of malleable once you like sort of gouge your fingers in it. But uh, yeah, I mean it's it's... Not super oily to the touch though. It's natural and organic ingredients and made in the USA. So um, I kind of went a little crazy when I first opened it up and like smelled it. I'm going to go ahead and do my arm here and I'm gonna do kind of a side by side and kind of talk about the consistency, if it's greasy or not and kind of just my thoughts on it if it is something worth paying 15.99 for like an additional product yeah. to add so in the directions it says to take as much like a good desired amount and then what mm -hmm. you do is you kind of soften it in your hands first because it's like a like you said, like a pomade, kind of like a yeah. Vaseline. But or like, yeah, like for any guys that, that maybe have beards or, or anything like that, it's kind of the same uh, consistency. So once I've yeah. softened it up here, it's kind of like, almost like a coconut oil. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna apply it like I would a lotion. And I'm gonna do that with all of my tattoos. And from what I've seen on their Instagram and like before and afters this is supposed to kind of moisturize the skin obviously mm -hmm. but also 
give you like an affordable product to care for your tattoos even after it's been years and they're totally healed and you know you've had them for a while so right off the bat it doesn't feel super heavy on my skin it feels very moisturizing you know the skin really absorbs it really easily and i don't feel any heaviness on my arm which is great um and i'm gonna go ahead and cut to do a before and after i'll let you guys decide for yourselves what you guys think if you see a difference or not and then i'm also going to try this on one of my husband's other tattoos of many that he has um i think you said it was your first tattoo yep it was uh, my very first tattoo um i was yeah probably about 18 like this, 12 years yeah so. this yeah tattoo, I'm to see. i don't know Good if you want to stand up and show them like what it looks like before because it's going to be yeah, hard to show so them let's, let's get turned it around so i um which you might sort of notice it's like the tool uh the band tool they have um a lot of their sort of i guess logos or you know albums and stuff like that um i didn't get it for tool um i just kind of thought it was a really cool like travel eye design and it's really really hard to see um but you know since i am romanian and i was adopted from romania um i got the colors of the the flag so yellow red and blue sort of in the eye yeah, i can barely um, see that yeah that yeah that. um you know just kind of like uh you know this sort of like a protector you know With this product is as you can tell from the cutaway and kind of the before and after definitely I feel like my tattoos look and feel a little bit more refreshed um, I have all black and gray ink um, my husband has a little mm. bit of color in some of his yeah. but definitely with black and gray it makes you know some of the lining very like more defined a lot crisper and my skin feels moisturized it doesn't feel like there isn't any residue left over of the product my one con my only con and i think you'll agree with me on this is it leaves some residue on your hands so i ended up like grabbing a paper towel and just kind of wiping my hands because I mean, it could also be user error. Maybe I use a little too much, mm -hmm. but yeah. also depending on the size of the piece that you're trying to, you know, moisturize and stuff, that has a lot to do with it too. But at least for me and my first time using it, I did leave a little bit of that oily residue, not like uncomfortable oil. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's also really easy to wipe off. So, you know, you can literally just take a paper towel and then just clean your hand off. Um, that's sort of what I did, you know, when I was applying my tattoo, um, my oil to my tattoo. Uh, and, you know, usually sometimes you have to, like, wash your hands with, like, soap and water, like, yeah. boiling hot water to mm -hmm. sort of get the residue off. But this comes off very, very easy. Yeah, like with um, bacitracin, I know it's yeah, super annoying. Like, neosporin, anything like that. Very, very oily, like, heavy, heavy oil um stuff like that so um well it is a con it is very easy to sort of fix right but it's really good quality the packaging is super cute um we all know i'm a package mm -hmm. aesthetic mm -hmm. kind of person so definitely the black and white mm -hmm. with the kind of old school font and the old school design on the packaging just sold me right there but the scent isn't overwhelming that's mm -hmm. also really good The you really mm -hmm. smell more so the lavender than the frankincense mm -hmm. a little bit so it's, it's kind of funny because i always thought people refer to like a frankincense like you think like frankenstein was like a bunch of different parts <laughs> so you think like frankincense was just like a bunch of different scents kind of mashed together to make one scent <laughs> but like i think frankincense is like an actual scent on its own yeah but i just sort of am pictured like just a mash a bunch of different yeah scents. like a mashup like in an incense and they just called it frankincense <laughs> 
Um, That's really funny. Yeah. I didn't know you. <laughs> what it definitely your, comes through. What are your thoughts more. as someone who has, you know, full sleeves mm -hmm. and like chest pieces and all that? What are what are your thoughts on this product as maybe adding it to your your um, you know, I don't mm -hmm. want to say beauty regimen, but like mm -hmm. skincare as far as taking care of your tattoos even after they're healed. Um, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, I, I really like sort of kind of how it how it feels and like the application is sort of just, you know, super easy. Um, you know, you can sort of, it's small, right? You know, you can sort of take it, you know, kind of wherever, wherever you are. Um, if you're on the road or anything like that, you know, it's super easy to kind of just, you know, kind of dab some on your fingers and then, you know, just take a napkin and, and like I was saying, you know, wipe it off your hands. Um, totally not a big deal. Um, I would say like if it's if you just get a fresh new tattoo um, I would still maybe stick to something like an A&D ointment right um, sort of range like this is great you know this can definitely bring out a lot of the color but I think it is a little bit heavy like on a new tattoo mm -hmm. so, you know so this is something that I would sort of use maybe near the end you know maybe a 10 or 15 day um, healing process you know mm -hmm. near the sort of the end like I said like where you want you know, maybe the clothes will pop a little bit. And then of course, like just for years afterwards, I would a hundred percent recommend this. Um, it, it's really great. I, I think that it's just convenient, uh, you know, where, um, the packaging is su like the packaging is super cool. And it's also just not weird, I guess. Like, you know, for guys, like you don't want to have like a giant bottle of lotion everywhere you go. Right. Um, it's not so, manly. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's, that's, that's what word, he's but. trying to say. <laughs> you know, maybe we'll, we'll do a, a, a compare and contrast, you know, over maybe a week's time just to see how it grows. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's, uh, it's really kind of a go-to product sort of on the after aftercare, you know, mm -hmm. it's not just, you know, you, you go home and you sit and you have the bandage on that sort of aftercare. But I think that, um, it's definitely something to add into your repertoire, you know, if you're someone who also, um, gets tattoos, but also wants to kind of keep them going and, and be vibrant over the years. Yeah. And, and I important. think, I think that's what Mad Rabbit Tattoo had in mm -hmm. mind when they came up with this and I'll link them down below. I'll link their site, the product, um, their Instagram, all of that stuff. If you have ink yourself from years ago that you kind of want to liven up, with more than just like mm -hmm. a lotion or anything mm -hmm. like that. This is made, like I said, with all natural ingredients and, you know, customer service is really great. They're on mm -hmm. point. And, um, yeah, you know, company. like I said, you can't beat the price, fifteen ninety nine. You know, this will last you a really long time. And my battery is flashing, <laughs> so that's the universe telling me to end the video. So that is it for my instagram made me buy it video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please be sure to give this video a thumbs up as always all of my social medias will be down below in the description go on over and follow me over there thank you guys so so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye everyone